Welcome to another video on build farmer site with Laravel. In last video, we added uh, this comment, uh, sorry, like functionality where we can like and unlike uh, comment. So one thing uh, we uh, forgot to add is just uh, make this uh, instant. So if we like, uh, just update the count. Although it will update on refresh, but we want to make it uh, dynamic. Uh, so let's go to comment list dot plate and here uh, we need to change in this function like it so uh, before that I want to fix a small issue so if you go up uh, inside your actions actions div so the problem is if we like uh, it is currently button so if we click uh, out of it it will show up okay so instead of button let's make it span so i was talking about this button which will show the heart icon like and like so instead of that button we will make this span uh, now let's see difference i'll refresh and when we unlike it will instantly show up and when we like it will instantly show yeah so after that uh, we need to give this uh, count uh, ID so I will give ID so uh, to make it unique I will give uh, this comment ID comment ID and I will give a text count comment ID dash count so now let's go to that function like it and when we get this like uh, message we'll add one uh, plus one to the existing comment sorry existing like count and similarly if we get unlike we'll uh, decrease it by one so first we need to get the count so first we'll get the uh, likes count and uh, we'll, we'll target that uh, div so that uh, with that ID so ID will be uh, the comment ID comment so we will get access to this comment ID variable and here we'll just access that comment ID and so the text is dash count and here uh, we'll get uh, the text so uh, currently we'll get uh, only text uh, we want to make this integer so just wrap this whole thing inside a function parse int so I'll wrap this everything inside parse int so that will convert that text 1 to 3 into the integer value 1 to 3 so yeah and here uh, we'll target same uh, same div and we'll uh, update the text so we'll update the text to uh, likes count likes count plus one so that will add one similarly for this one we'll remove one so from existing likes count will uh, decrease one so if we haven't passed this into integer it will just so uh, if there is already one it will show 11 so similarly yeah so this is important okay so now that should work let's go to browser and check this so now let's unlike yeah it changes to zero similarly unlike it it changes to one like it, it changes to one yeah so now it's working okay next we'll add a policy related to model so 
uh, who can update the post who can delete currently we are checking like this so if auth user id matches the thread user id uh, uh, the user can mark this as solution similarly we are adding this for edit form and etc so similarly in model if you see in thread controller so we are checking like this so if uh, user is a uh, real user uh, he, he or she can delete so this is quite a bit uh, repeating code we are uh, mixing our the authorization logic inside our controller so that is not good practice instead uh, what laravel allows us is we can uh, make up new policy class and put all of these code there so i'll show you how how to do that okay for example uh, we'll uh, store the uh, logic related to this thread model inside our thread policy similarly for reply and comment so let's open up terminal and make new uh, policy class so if you go to uh, laravel documentation you can see inside uh, the authorization section uh, while making policy you can use these commands so you can also link uh, that to a particular model so inside terminal i'll make a new policy php option make policy and the name of policy will be thread policy and i'll link this to a model so this will uh, basically generate a, a boilerplate Okay, so that will be inside this policy folder and here so you can uh, you get uh, the boilerplate like you get for a resourceful controller so after we click uh, created this policy we need to register it in our auth service provider so let's go to auth service provider So auth service provider inside app providers or service provider. So here you can uh, make a new uh, instance. So you can use like this or so app model name will be thread and this will be thread policy. We got new policy. So after the policy is registered we can handle the code in our thread policy so this function will uh, for showing thread so who can see the uh, threads similarly who can create who can update and similarly for delete so instead what i will do is i will just uh, make uh, just for update okay so in this method we will define who can update post uh, similarly who can delete the post so update will uh, be same for both so what you can do is uh, just uh, copy the code from uh, your thread controller so this code just cut it from here into your thread policy so we'll modify a bit uh, let's comment it out so this function should uh, return true or false thread user id double calls to we don't need to use auth we uh, we got this user id here injecting so this will grab the current user
so double equals to will return true or false so if uh, these two messages it will return true uh, and if uh, those don't messages will return false okay so uh, after that uh, inside our controller so previously it was like this now we can uh, we can use like this so let's comment this out and instead we can use this authorize and uh, what it is authorized to do uh, update update what update uh, thread so just pass that thread yeah that's it so similarly uh, you can just uh, paste this inside of your delete as well So this way if you need to change any logic related to authorize uh, just go to thread policy and alter here so if you want to assign a particular rule so if you want if you want to add uh, some user with certain rule can edit this post not just user ID you can change it here So video related to that is coming uh, where we'll, I will explain all about uh, rules without using any third party package and so you can learn that there. So in, in this our forum website this will do okay. So we will only allow user who created the post to update it. So uh, similarly uh, we can handle uh, in our blade file. So this is for controller. Uh, now what we can do is instead of all this, uh, just remove these or I'll comment out. So what you can do is uh, use uh, this directive can. So can update So similarly you can end can. So this way uh, we only allow user who created thread to mark it as solution. Similarly you can use this directive and it will only show up for uh, user who created the thread. So similarly let's uh, only allow user who created uh, the thread to edit and delete so currently it is showing form for every user I guess yeah so similarly just wrap this inside can okay uh, we can't use for that because comment may be created by other user so that will be only for thread so let's go to thread list instead so actually let's go to uh, this thread single so thread single dot plate let's close everything else so here uh, this action button so currently we are using this so we can now replace it with our can directive can update thread similarly and can so it's a lot cleaner than using this okay so let's uh, test this uh, so by the way we need to use exact same name like we used in thread policy yeah name of this function okay let's check this in our browser oh everything working yeah so currently we are logged in with this user let's uh, log in with another user
okay let's go and yeah we cannot see our uh, edit button for thread so this is uh, how we handle uh, the policy for thread similarly you can create the policy for comments as well so the process is same uh, just add one method and assign it to comments action so that I'll leave for you uh, this is just similar I'll update the code but I'll not show in video for now so I'll see you in the next video